Hello everyone, Mike with Newfound Past, and this is the beginning of our haul video. This is Sunday. We are going out today, but first I gotta clear off all that snow. We don't even know if the thrift stores are going to be open, but I am going to clear off my truck behind me, and we're gonna try. We got about six inches of snow here in Northern Virginia, and a lot of things are closed, but we're still gonna get out and try. We never let stuff deter us from the hunt. Anyway, I'll update later. And the thrift stores were open. All right. Got a lot of good stuff. Uh, did our normal route. All three thrift stores we normally go to were open. And they weren't that crowded, which is awesome. you think the thrifting would have been better, but it was the same. But that's okay. Uh, jumping right in. We got this awesome vintage 70s era blanket. You can see the colors in that. It's like the green... And this floor, I can't you know, hold it out. I wish I could, but uh, check out this label on this thing. This, uh, what's it called? Bellon, Bellon. Like I said, it's Greece, Greek. And uh, the tag is in there somewhere, but we paid around 10 bucks for this. And it's in really good condition. My wife and I, you know, held it out and looked it over really well. And uh, of course, no exact comps for something so vintage like this, but uh, we are going to list this for $75. And, uh, you know, I'd always rather to start high and have to go down than to start low and go, hmm, maybe I left some meat on the bone there. So, that's a nice one. Next up, hmm, what do I want to do? I'll do these. <laughs> I got this, uh, this is a pair of jeans I normally would not buy. They're brand new with the tags, which is great. You know, I give benefit of the doubt to new with tags, but these are just Dickies. Uh, jeans, just a regular uh, pair of carpenter jeans, you know, has the, uh, the hammer belt loop and everything, all that stuff. And these are 36, 34, which is a good average size. But the reason I picked these up is they were uh, only $5. Violet and yellow were half off at this thrift store. So $5, and this is okay. But this is normally a brand that I would not recommend unless you get them super duper cheap, like these. Um, they should bring in the high 20s, you know, no, nothing real great, fantastic. Next up, these pair of Under Armour straight storm pants is what these are called. These are like a cargo all-weather pants. You know, the quick-dry type of deal. And uh, new attacks, which I love. And uh, got about 30% off on these. Uh, so these were 15 bucks, but we got them for about 10 or so. Um, comps on these, uh, no solds exactly on these, but uh, there's others listed as high as like $75 or so and um, so I'll probably undercut those actually I'll probably try to get 50 to 60 for these and just see what happens maybe the ones listed are just too high that's why there's no solds but uh, yeah again a good size 36 32 and uh, yeah benefit of the doubt new with tags last pair of jeans I got this brand new pair of Levi's 560s and uh Again, somebody must have donated that way, you know, wore, wore a 36 waist. These are 36, 34s, still with the uh, price tags on them, and these were about 10 bucks. That's about my top, unless they're vintage or other extenuating circumstances. For regular, plain old Levi's, uh, $10 is about the most I'll pay, because these bring in the 30s or so. So, um, I will price them higher, though, because, you know, across the list of Poshmark and stuff, so that was great. Okay. I don't know if this is the find of the day or what, but I thought it was awesome. I didn't comp it. I, I saw it on the rack, threw it in the cart, kept on going. This vintage, uh, it's not vintage, it's a leather jacket. Let me check this out. Yep, shot. This is a shot motorcycle jacket made in USA. Uh, they had it priced for 40 bucks, but we got about 30% off. So in the high 20s for this. Uh, it's not perfect. This is used, but really cool. No exact comps for this design or style. The shot NYC with the orange stripe. Uh, good size too. It says it's a 4X, which motorcycle jacket sizes are a little bit different, you know. This is big for a motorcycle jacket, so I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit. It's got a couple of spots here. I'll, I'll get those off. It's just crud. Um, I think this will bring between two and $250. So, because there's no exact comps, but Shot's always a good brand to take a chance on. Ooh, that thing is heavy. 
wore myself out. This is an awesome shirt. This uh, brand new with the tags, Nike, long sleeve Oklahoma Sooners uh, football shirt from the national championship years listed. And they, this was uh, violet. They had a price at seven. We got half off, so three dollars and fifty cents. Here's the Nike tags, brand new. Um, no exact comps, but these shirts, you know, thirties hopefully. But the always been filled out with those for sure. This is a little bit uh, vintage to it. This is from 2006. This is a Nike baseball pullover. It even has the old style Nike baseball label on it. All brand new with the tags. In 2006, this thing retailed for 50 bucks. So now, what would that be? 75 or so? Uh, they had a healthy price on this as well. They had $18 on this. And if I had to pay full price for this, I wouldn't have got it. But we got about 30% off. So, what is that, three, about 12 bucks for this. And, um, yeah, it, it was probably between 40 and $50 is what this will go for. Next up, there's a theme here, right? Brand new with the tags. This is a brand new with the tags, foot jewelry, vest. And it has uh, some golf club that I'll look up and try to find their embroidery on it, just like most of these do. But uh, yeah, I can't go wrong with brand new, the tags. They had it marked at 10, so we got it for about seven or so, 30% off. Size extra large, good stuff. And just a couple more clothing items before we get to the hard goods. We got this brand new with the tags, ha <laughs> ha. Eddie Bauer fleece vest. And uh, they had $8 on this. So 30% off of that, so five or whatever. It did have a little embroidery on it. Had this Opus Fun Services on the back of the neck. But since it's brand new with the tags, and we got it for, you know, what was that, six and change or so? Yeah, this will do fine. Last clothing item. This Burton Ski Snowboarding Jacket. Again. Guess what? Brand new with the tags. Every clothing item I got on this trip was brand new with the tags, except for the shot leather jacket. And I would pick that up every time anyway. So, uh, yeah. And they had this marked at 30 bucks, 30% off that. So, high, uh, low 20s on this. Uh, nothing exact on this jacket, except for, you know, there was some similar styles that sold in the hundreds, you know, 125, 175. This thing retailed for $220 show you that see that no nope. okay but $220 is what the retail tag on this is so I'm confident this will bring mid ones you know that 150 ish range or so so right time of the season two so I got so I got to get that up and get it listed fast all right that's all the clothing so jump into hard goods got this brand new in the wrap Laser tag box. This is by Dynasty Toys. This is the Extreme Pack Four Player for laser tag, and we got this for twenty bucks. This at our half off store. They had it marked at forty, so we got it for twenty. Comps on this aren't as good as I thought they'd be, honestly. Comped it out, and they there's a lot of solds for fifteen, sixty dollars. But you pay twenty for something, fifty. Eh, it's kind of a stretch after fees and everything, but. When you look at the solds, there's a ton of solds. You look at the listed, and there's one. People are selling these too cheap. So I'm gonna mark it up a little bit. Not extreme, I'm not gonna go like 100 bucks or something, but I'm gonna go 75 or $80 plus shipping on this, and that makes it a whole lot better uh, spending $20 on something and getting that 75 to 80 mark. So, brand new. Like a brand new. Okay, we got two of these. Olympia Deluxe Luggage Strap, and they're a rainbow color. Paid up a little bit on these, and these are brand new, and we paid $4 per package on these. But the similar ones, not the not the rainbow style, but same maker, uh, same size and everything. They sold for $25 a package. So we think the rainbow will bring a little bit of a premium, not much, you know, like 30 bucks a package. So it's always good when you can multiply your money. So pick those up. Yeah, we got this tulip platter, uh, about three dollars, 
high threes for that with our 30% off. This is a pretty big platter. This is a hearthstone block uh, made in Portugal. And my wife picked this up and she comped it. And I'm sure this is a 30 to $40 platter without knowing anything. <laughs> okay. Paper out of the way. I'm going to show you this big box. This thrift store has started doing something the past couple weeks that I do not like, but I understand why they started doing it. New inbox stuff, people just rip it apart and rip it off. So what they started doing is taking new inbox stuff like this and cutting the top off and taping it. They, I saw them do this with not only this, but they had some other CD players and stuff. They had brand new, cut the top off and taped over it. And it... <laughs> Depending on what the item is, that could really irk someone. That could, you know, hurt the value a lot. But on this, I think it's fine. Pick this up for, you know, after our discount. Uh, 35 is full price, so we got about 10 bucks off or so. So in the 20s for this. And this is a McCullough uh, multi-use steam canister set. Yeah. It's all brand new. It's all in there. And uh, these comp out about 150 bucks, brand new, sealed. So without the top on it, 125 or so. So yeah, so 25 dollars. Back on the hundo, be just fine. Go ahead and show you this and get it out of the way. I've talked about these before, but it's been a long time. Heavy. This is a 13 inch. TV with the VCR. You're like, why in the world would you buy that? These are called prison TVs. I got 10 bucks for it. It has its remote. It has its original packing material. I took it out, got a VHS tape off the off the shelf, test it, and it works perfectly. I mean, I bought these before where it's a little bit shaky. You know, the VHS is a little bit weak. If you do VCRs, you know that this one was a very, very strong, very strong. Instantly played, fast forward, rewind, very strong. So the belts are nice and tight. Probably hasn't been used that much. So being all that considered, it has the remotes, original packing, original box, in very good condition. This thing will probably sell for about 200 bucks. Crazy, right? Family members with people, you know, other, with family members in prison, buy these for them because that's all they can get them so yeah pretty good pretty good stuff said 13 inches and under i don't know about i don't know what it is about these crts with vhs players i don't know if it's the ease of access of vhs tapes or what i don't, I don't know the details that's just what i read up on so okay well that was the story so we'll save that one i picked up this bag of uh Hooks, and this was funny. We sell these mugs all the time. This Taylor and Ng or NG, Taylor and NG, 1976. And these are heavy links. I'm not gonna resell these. I've already started using them over there behind me <laughs> for stuff. And these are just awesome to hang stuff and everything. But yeah, really heavy duty. And I only gave three dollars and fifty cents for these in a hardware store. These would be these would cost me way more than what we paid for. Them. Another little bag of stuff we picked up. And this was a hodgepodge, but we picked it up for a couple reasons. It had some tarp clamps with a really which are really cheap, which I'll use, but it also had this motion. I can rip this open now, it couldn't in the store. But, uh, I'll show you here. It had this motion motion sensing switch, which these are not cheap in the store. And this whole bag we gave in the three dollars for or so. And it had these, what looks like just a bunch of cheap screwdrivers, but this one is a Craftsman. So, put that in my toolkit. So for three and change, we had three different things we'd use. Went ahead and took it. My wife found this uh, National Geographic 125 years DVD set, brand new in the package for $3. And uh, comps on these were surprisingly strong. Uh, in the 30s, maybe even the 40s. So, uh, yeah, really, really nice set there. Got a couple of, I'll go ahead and grab both of these. A couple of toy airplanes. 
Uh, one of them is a little bit bigger than the other, as you can see. But this bottom one was a uh, four dollars. Uh, the top one was three dollars. The parts were shaky around in there, but um, I think these will be okay. I, I sell uh, airplane and train stuff all the time, and for the price, I think these will do well. One of them is a Continental, and the big ones a Hawaiian Airlines. So stuff like that's always good to pick up. It's in good shape. Next up, got a light bright. This is not the really old one. This is a 1993 version. Uh, obviously, the important thing is all the little pegs are in it, and all the pegs are in it. We opened up and checked, and paid, you know, got our 30 percent off, so about three bucks for this. And uh, these comp out for about 30 bucks or so. So. Okay. Whoops. Got a few of our normal, you know, sealed DVDs and PC games. You know, nothing huge, but they're all brand new. Uh, Beauty and the Ble Beast Blu-ray. So, yeah, dollar a piece. Okay, a Rubbermaid microwave cookware dual action turntable. And this is brand new in the box. No comps on this, but this goes in, and we paid three dollars and fifty cents. This goes back to kind of like that Rubbermaid bath mat we, my wife found and we sold. We sold it for like 70 bucks. Crazy, right? I don't think this will sell for 70 bucks, but I do think it will sell for 40 or so. They don't make these things anymore. And if they did make them, they wouldn't be as well made as this one. So this one's a little bit vintage. Sometimes, yeah, 1986 is the year on this. They do not make things like this anymore. So. I love these little gadgets and stuff that are, you know, a little bit retro, a little bit vintage, well-made stuff. Uh, bread and butter puzzle, brand new, sealed, we opened it up. This is a dowdle or doodle, however you say that, Jerusalem puzzle. Two dollars, violet half off, so yeah. These are twenty, twenty-five dollars. A Sony Dream Machine, brand new in the box, which you rarely find. You see these all the time in thrift stores, these little cube Dream Machines. And on their own, I mean, maybe if you get them cheap enough, you can make five bucks on them or so. But this one being new in the box helps it a lot, of course. 30% um, off, so just over five dollars on this. And this could sell for 50 bucks. You know, maybe more. I just thought it would do well and throw in the cart and kept on going. Hey, paid up for this. <laughs> this is a uh, Bass Pro Shop The Strike game with the uh, rod and reel controller. Brand new in the box. And they had it marked at $25. Yeah. Even at $25, I mean, it was like, you may get this, you may not. Uh, we got 30% off, so it dropped it below 20 which helps a lot. Comps on these are about $75 or so. And uh, again, it's kind of like one of the other items I was telling you about that laser tag stuff. Almost everyone that is listed sells at a low price, a lower price, 60, 50, 40, 60 again. You know, it's all over the place, just like things are on eBay. So I'm going to shoot high, just like I always do. I may, I'll probably list this for 75 to $85 and just see what happens. Yeah. Uh, another thing that didn't have a comp, but we just thought it was cool. And this is brand new in the box, even though the box is open. This is an Intex Air Furniture Love Seat. And it's blue, and this thing is heavy. And um, yeah, we looked this up, and this is from 1999. So paid, you know, three and change for this. We have no idea. What do you guys think this thing will bring? I don't know. I think it could be, who knows, 30, 40, 50? I don't know. But uh, it is pretty neat. Check out their clothes, you know, you can tell that's 90s. By what they're wearing okay got this little transformer brand new in the box uh, two bucks I didn't think this would be worth anything actually I went ahead and scanned it though because it was new and these things sell for $25 I was shocked it's a sound wave little little tiny transformer guy you know nothing old this is a newer one 2011 so yeah I was surprised that these things sold for that much Goes to show, you don't know everything. Okay, last item. Yep, last item. This Belkin uh, 
Parallel cable, printer cable. Why in the world would you buy a parallel cable? <laughs> Just last week, I have a printer. It's actually sitting right there on the desk still because I still haven't put it back up in my stacks. It's an Epson Stylus C62 printer. A guy, I had it priced high, like I do new printers in the 200s or so. And a guy was bartering or, you know, best offer this, best offer that. And he's, uh, Sent best offer, and I told him the lowest I'm going to take is 150 for this printer. The lowest I'm going to take is that. And he came back with an offer of 155. Bizarre. Or not an offer. He, uh, yeah, he sent me an offer of 155, and I accepted it. And then after the fact, he sent me a message and goes, if it doesn't include the uh, power cable and the parallel cable, no deal. Why'd you send the offer? Why wouldn't you just send a message and ask? But he didn't, you know, so that point's moot. It does have the power cable. No printers from this, no printers ever comes with the, the, the parallel cable, the data cable. Uh, this is an actual parallel port, like a parallel cable is the term. You know, now they have USB cables. No printers come with those. So I don't know what this guy was thinking. So he was like, well, I guess we have a problem. And I'm like, no, we don't. We canceled the transaction at buyer's request and get my fees back. And that's what I did. And he's now on my block bidders list because a eBay bidder like that, you're just asking for trouble. They're going to have a problem no matter what. It's not that he was, you know, picky or anything. I can handle picky, but when they're just all over the place, like you buy something and then ask questions, it's nothing but trouble. So, but anyway, I do have the cable now. I'm going to update that listing and put the cable with it. And he's on my block bidders list. So... Maybe somebody else will buy it. Um, we got it for three bucks, violet and yellow or half off. So, small price to pay to put with the $200 printer. So, that is all. Uh, thank you to all of our subscribers, all our patrons. All you guys are awesome. All the people that participate in the live chats, they give me super chats. You guys are the best. Uh, while we do it, uh, doing our normal thing this week uh live shows monday wednesday friday we'll drop our what sold video on thursday this week and wednesday for patrons so keep that in mind but thanks everyone i appreciate you tuning in you guys have a great week